Hello friends and welcome. In today's discussion, I will be answering this question. Can I stay more than six months outside the US with a green card? If you find this information useful, please subscribe for more and also in support of this channel. There could be many reasons and valid ones uh, as to why you as a lawful permanent resident of the U.S., you could need to travel outside the U.S. for long periods of time. You might also find yourself outside and stuck there due to some occurrences, a victim of uh, circumstances like we did see during the breakout of the COVID-19 and people were unable to return due to so many reasons or maybe you could find yourself uh, in jail for some reasons or sick so you're stuck for valid reasons definitely you're wondering can you stay more than six months outside the u.s with a green card and the good news is yes you can but you will need to plan well depending with your situation there may be also consequences for you when you return, depending with your uh, situation or when you will be uh, now uh, applying for the naturalization or for the U.S. citizenship, there will be some consequences. So how do you go about it? You can stay outside of the U.S. for as long as you want as a lawful permanent resident. What you, however, need to be careful about or what you need to avoid is being regarded as having abandoned your lawful permanent resident status. So you need to be careful to not uh, be regarded as having abandoned your lawful permanent resident uh, status. This is what happens if you stay outside of the U.S. for too long with a green card. The Customs and uh, Border Protection Officers at the port of entry are going to ask you questions uh, whether you have abandoned your lawful permanent resident status. Uh, the Customs and uh, Border Protection Officers Remember, they have access to records showing your previous uh, uh, exits and entries. That is your travel history to the USC. So they might ask you questions such as, uh, where have you been? How long have you been there? What did you do there? What ties do you have uh, in the USC when you were away? When you arrive at the port of entry, Having been out of USA for long, there are two requirements that you have to meet to avoid being investigated more by the customs and the border protection officers. You must meet both requirements. If you meet them, you will be allowed back into the USA without any trouble. But if one of them is lacking, you might end up uh, under the officer's uh, investigation, more investigation. And the two requirements are you must have been outside of the U.S. for under 180 days, those are six months, and you must have not abandoned your lawful permanent resident status, that is, by making a trip abroad that wasn't temporary. It means your trips should be temporary and uh, temporary uh, traveling reasons could be maybe visiting your family maybe going for a business um, trip those are the temporary um, trip so your trip must be uh, a temporary one therefore the best way to avoid uh, abandoning your lawful permanent resident status, it's to make U.S. your primary home and then leave the U.S. for temporary visits. That is make sh making sure that more, or more days in a year you are in the U.S. than you are outside of the U.S. If you know you'll be traveling for long or you'll be out of U.S. for 
long periods of time, it is essential to plan ahead and get the right documents. This will help you to show that you haven't uh, abandoned your lawful permanent uh, status and will prevent you from being denied entry back into the U.S. after your travel. To be allowed for re-entry, you need to meet the following. You have to have a valid entry document and also you need to have a re-entry permit that is if you've been out of U.S. for more than six months. So if you are outside of the U.S. for less than uh, one year, you will only need to come back with your green card and you will be uh, allowed to re-enter the U.S. But then if you'll be outside of the U.S. for longer than one year, you will need to apply for a re-entry permit. And this re-entry permit, you do not apply for it while you are out of the U.S. You apply for that um, re-entry permit before you take your trip. You have to apply for the re-entry permit, also known as Form I-131. You must apply this with the United States uh, Citizenship and Immigration Services before you go for your trip. You can't apply for it when you are outside of the USA. So make sure, as we said, as you plan for your trip, you apply for it before you leave. Also note that your re-entry permit will only be valid for two years from the date it was issued. And this period is usually not extended. So you can't stay out of the U.S. past that time. Otherwise, there will be consequences. Friends, that's all for this discussion. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please subscribe for more and also in support of this channel. I hope to see you all in the next ones. Bye.